Hi loves, welcome back. So today's video is an in-depth tutorial on how to achieve full coverage without it looking cakey, gross, too much on your skin. So if you are interested in that, then just keep on watching. Okay, so I did my eyes off of camera just really quickly, um, just to save us some time since this video is all about the face. So the first step in creating a full coverage face without it looking cakey is your primer. So I already primed my face with the photo finish primer water. You definitely want to make sure that your skin is very hydrated. It's very very plump and it's just ready for makeup to be applied onto it or else your foundation is going to cling to dry patches it's not gonna look cute it's not gonna look smooth so that is step number one so just make sure that your skin is very hydrated and just ready for foundation to be applied onto it and then also primer you 100% want to apply a primer on top of your skin whether it's a hydrating primer if you have dry skin or like a pore minimizing primer if you have big pores a lot of texture you want something that's completely going to blur out your skin and just feel really smooth underneath your foundation. So today I'm going in with the Pore Professional um, Primer by Benefit. This is a very pore smoothing out primer. It makes your skin feel so soft, so smooth, and just completely even. So that's what you want underneath your foundation, kind of like a perfect base. And I'm going to first start at my nose on my chin and on my forehead and then work it out because this is where I have the bigger pores and my skin has the most texture right here on my cheeks so I just work the product outwards I make sure to really spend a good amount of time blending in my primer just to make sure that it's all even all over my face so when I apply foundation no spots are missed and then I also apply some on my neck because I do bring my foundation down my neck so this is something that you can do or you can skip on this step just depending on how much foundation you apply so right now my skin does feel really smooth and really like just airbrushed in a way so for foundation, if you want to go for more of a full coverage effect, you want to get a foundation that is not heavy on the skin, not cakey, and you want a high pigmentation foundation where you can just apply a little bit but still get that full coverage effect. A foundation that is the most full coverage and the most lightweight for me right now is the Jouer Essential High Coverage Cream Foundation. This is so full coverage, but it also just makes your skin look flawless, very smooth, and doesn't really emphasize too much texture. But I like to actually mix this in with another foundation. So another love that I've been liking is the Laura Mercier Flawless Fusion Ultra Longwear Foundation. I feel like these mixed together is like the perfect, I don't know, just canvas I guess. It's like the perfect foundation mixture. I do like to use sponges to apply my makeup. I felt like when I was using brushes to apply foundation, it was just too much. It was like, it felt more cakey, more heavy on my skin. It didn't look as flawless because it didn't soak up any of that extra product that you had on your skin that you didn't necessarily need. So sponges are the way to go. You can use a beauty blender, you can use the Real Techniques, you can use the Eco Sponge. Any sponge is pretty much going to help you out no matter what with not looking cakey. Pro tip, please wet your sponge. It will make your application of your makeup 100% better. Trust me. Just try it out. So what I like to do is just dot this all over my face. I'm only going to do half right now. So I just dot it all over. So on my neck... And then I am going to use the sponge to blend this out. Again, this is a very full coverage foundation, so necessarily I don't have to go in with two layers of this foundation. But if you don't have a foundation that's this full coverage and you have to build it up, I would highly recommend going in with a very thin layer first and then building it on top of that. You don't want to go in with a ton of product on your skin directly like the first layer because if you have too much product on your skin then it's hard to like get rid of it I guess. It's not hard to add more, it's harder to get rid of it on your skin. So. And it's just harder to blend when there's a lot of product. So 
I would definitely go in with thin layers of foundation. I mean, yeah, it will take more time, but trust me, your foundation will look so much more flawless and just so much prettier on your skin. It will look more skin-like if you just use small layers at a time. So then I'm going to do the same thing on the other side. So the foundations are all blended out. My skin is looking really nice. It's not cakey at all right now. It just looks really flat and smooth. So that's the goal. I'm going to go in with just one concealer. This is the Kat Von D Lock It Concealer. I love this concealer. You want a concealer that's not too heavy but not too light. You want one with a lot of coverage but one that blends out very nicely. I would recommend the Tarte Shape Tape, Kat Von D Lock It, um, Maybelline Fit Me um, concealer. What else? What else? Naked Skin. There's so many on the market. And you want to start with a light layer of this as well. You don't want to go too crazy on the first layer. Then you also want to blend this out with the sponge as well. Just so it doesn't look cakey, doesn't look like too much is on your skin. I always try to blend my products as fast as I can. Just to ensure that like they're not sinking into my smile lines, my wrinkles underneath my eye. I just feel like it looks so much better if you move faster, you know what I mean? So concealer is all blended out. As you can see, there's like no harsh lines. It looks really natural and just blended as can be. Another tip is to set your face as soon as possible. You don't want to wait because then these lines will show up. You'll have like a line up here, maybe smile lines. It's all different for every single person out there. So if you don't want to bake your face, I would recommend just setting it with a big powder brush. You want one that's really soft, really fluffy, that just won't like pile on powder, you know what I mean? So you also want to go in with like a very finely milled powder, like something so light that you can't even feel it on your face. You don't want to go in with like a powder foundation because those tend to be very heavy on your face and just start to like cake up a little bit and they just become too much. So I would recommend a translucent powder. I absolutely love the Cover FX. I've noticed that my skin just looks so airbrushed and so beautiful. I'm actually going to go in with a smaller brush just so I can get really get in there. And you want to go in with a little bit at a time. You don't want to go in with a ton of powder all at once or else it's just going to be too much and you're going to start to look really cakey. Honestly, the key to not looking cakey is just using as little product as you can. That's just going to make you look more natural. There's not going to be as much product on your skin. It's not going to be able to cake up. So just try to go in with a really full coverage foundation and then go lighter on the other products and then you won't really have a problem with looking cakey. Alright, so the face is set. I am going to do my brows off of camera just because that has nothing to do with this video. So I will be right back and we will finish off this face. Brows are done. So now we are going to move on to bronzer, blush, highlight, and then we're going to set this face and then we're going to be done. So for bronzer, I'm going to try and go in with the Hoola bronzer. I haven't used this in a while, so I want to test it out, see if it's still good. Um, look at how much is left. Yeah, literally. I'm going to use this little brush too. So again, go in with very little product and blend it out. That's the best advice I can give to you guys about not looking cakey. Just little product. You, you got to remember, little product. Tap off the excess for literally everything. Eyeshadows, bronzers, blushes, highlights. So I'm just going to apply this all over my face in the usual spots. Cheekbones snatched. So now onto blush. I'm going in with the Essence Satin Blush in the shade Satin Coral. This is such a just a pretty colored blush. It's such a neutral. And then again, I'm going in with a very fluffy brush, lightly dipping in, tapping off the excess, and then just applying this to my cheekbones. And for my highlighter today, I'm going in with the Milani Strobe Light in Day Glow 02. Again, a very fluffy brush. This is the Wet n Wild highlighting brush from their Pro Set. 
Again, I'm just lightly dipping in, tapping up the excess, and applying. You want to go in with a very light hand with everything that you apply on your face. You don't want to just push it into your skin. You want it to just kind of like sit on top, look really natural and pretty. All right, see how it just like glistens and it just looks really pretty instead of just like harsh highlighting line, you know what I mean? Now I am going to move on and finish my eyes and apply a lip and then we will be back to set this face and then we'll be done. Okay, so I just finished my makeup, added some falsies, added a lip, feeling like a boss ass bitch. So <laughs> let's finish up this face so it's not looking as powdery and cakey. So what I usually like to do is spray the Smashbox Primer Water, but I'm literally almost out. So I like to use this as a primer more than a setting spray because I have another setting spray that I love. But this is an awesome, like spray to get rid of powderiness so I would highly recommend this. It's like my baby. And then I also love the Urban Decay All Nighter Makeup Setting Spray. This just takes away some of that powder on your skin. It just sets everything into place so it stays all day long and it gets rid of any like excess like nastiness I guess. I hope you guys learned a lot in this tutorial. I, I tried my hardest to teach you guys how to make it not look cakey. I guess it's kind of like practice as well. Practice makes perfect. You know, you just get better as you practice. You figure out what's good for your skin. You figure out the best products, the best brushes, the best skincare. So yeah, you'll just learn as you go. I learned a lot just in what, eight months, 10 months. My foundation routine has completely changed since I started my YouTube channel back in March of 2017. So you just learn as you go. Try new things, because I was always scared to like just use translucent setting powder. I always used like a powder foundation on top of my foundation or like um, just like one of those compact powders, but translucent powder made the biggest difference for my skin overall and just how my foundation looks overall. So definitely try new things. Don't be afraid. I would recommend trying new things maybe a night where you're not going to go anywhere. If you mess up, you can just take it off, redo it, you know, practice makes perfect. So yeah, those are my recommendations to you. I hope they were helpful. Let me know down below if you have any more questions or concerns or you want me to do another video having to do with like how to make your makeup look good, I guess. Definitely subscribe to join my S-Squad and I will catch you guys in my next video. Bye loves!